Viruses have a huge impact on human health, whether we're talking about the most recent one that shall not be named so we don't get caught by the algorithm, influenza, or even the common cold, which is the number one reason that people miss work. The infections they cause can range from mild but annoying to severe and even fatal. But it's not just the infection itself that can be serious, but the after effects as well. If you've ever had a bad flu and then experienced lingering symptoms like exhaustion, muscle aches, or shortness of breath, you know what I'm talking about. In medicine, we call this post-viral syndrome. Like viral infections themselves, it can range from mild to debilitating and even life-altering. In this video, I'm going to share some simple nutritional strategies that I've used in my clinic for the past 15 years to help people recover from post-viral syndrome and get back to feeling like themselves again. Ready? Let's get to it. Hey everyone, I'm Chris Kresser here with another Tuesday tip video for you. If you're interested in free tips on how to optimize your health, improve your performance, and extend your lifespan, hit the subscribe button in the lower right corner, and then tap the bell icon to get notified when new videos are available. Post-viral syndrome is an umbrella term for a wide range of physical, cognitive, emotional, and neurological signs and symptoms that vary in severity over time. It's poorly defined and we don't have good data on how often it occurs, but we know it can be triggered by many different pathogens, including Epstein-Barr virus, cytomegalovirus, human herpes virus, enteroviruses, and more. The symptoms vary a lot too, but often involve fatigue, weakness, pain, difficulty concentrating, headaches, and a general sense of malaise. Post-viral syndrome is a complex issue, and in some cases will require seeking help from a medical provider. But in this video, I want to give you some simple yet powerful and effective nutrition strategies that you can do at home. I've had a lot of success in the clinic with these, so I hope they're helpful for you as well. Optimizing the nutrient density of your diet is critical. Acute illnesses like viral infections deplete the body of nutrients, and the body needs vitamins, minerals, and other compounds to heal and restore normal function. So replenishing the nutrients that your body lost during the infection is perhaps the most important thing to do after a viral infection. Sadly, most people are not getting enough of several essential micronutrients, and that's without this additional need. A diet rich in organ meat, shellfish, fish, beef, eggs, dark leafy greens, brightly colored vegetables, spices, and nuts and seeds will help restore your nutrient levels and bring you back to health. I have an in-depth article on maximizing nutrient intake in your diet, and I'll put a link to that in the description below. Beyond the basic diet pattern, there are some superfoods that can give your immune system a boost and help you to recover. I've already mentioned a couple of them, a recent study found that organ meats like liver, kidney, spleen, pancreas, and heart comprise five of the most 10 nutrient-dense foods in the diet. These have fallen out of favor in the modern world, but they are truly nature's multivitamins. They're loaded with vitamins A, B6, folate, B12, zinc, choline, and other nutrients that support immune function and cellular energy production. I've had a lot of patients over the years that have struggled with post-viral issues and tried a lot of different things to recover without much success. Then when they incorporated liver and other organs into their diet or their supplement routine, they finally turned the corner. I'm gonna guess that most of you aren't eating organ meats regularly, so I'll put a link to an article on how to incorporate them into your daily routine in the description below this video. I've also used mushrooms like reishi, turkey tail, chaga, and lion's mane with patients with post-viral syndromes with a lot of success. Mushrooms are high in beta-glucans, a unique type of soluble fiber that scientists refer to as a biological response modifier because of its ability to activate the immune system. Beta-glucans feed the beneficial gut bacteria, which we know is depleted after viral infections. And mushrooms are also rich in triterpenoids and other phenolic compounds that support immune function and energy production. Bone broth is another superfood to consider. It supports gut health, and we now know that most of our immune system resides in the gut. Bone broth has been used in traditional cultures to help people that have been depleted by both acute and chronic illnesses. It's rich in collagen, which helps with tissue regeneration and repair. I'll link to an article below on how to make your own bone broth at home. You can also get it at most health food stores now. Kettle and Fire is my favorite brand, because it's the closest to the broth that you make at home.
Garlic has both immune boosting and anti-inflammatory properties. It's a vasodilator which improves circulation and allows immune fighting molecules to get where they're needed. Garlic can reduce cortisol levels, which is important because stress can impact the immune system. Garlic simulates a wide range of immune cells, including macrophages, lymphocytes, natural killer cells, dendritic cells, and eosinophils, which can help if there's any lingering viral activity. Ginger has multiple impacts on immune function. It's antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, and it reduces oxidative stress. It's also an antispasmodic, which can assist with lung function and breathing. Adding both ginger and garlic to your daily diet can make a big difference for immune recovery. Raw honey is another potent immune supporting superfood. It's a powerful antioxidant. In fact, some types of honey are as rich in antioxidants as fruits like blueberries and raspberries. It has antimicrobial properties, especially antiviral effects. It's a prebiotic, so it supports healthy gut flora and immunity. And it's anti-inflammatory. It inhibits the COX-2 enzyme, which is the same pathway that ibuprofen works on. The last superfood I want to talk about is green tea. The active compounds in green tea are called catechins, and the best studied of these is epigyocatechin, or EGCG. It's a potent antioxidant with antimicrobial and immunomodulatory properties. It enhances the proliferation of T lymphocytes and improves cytokine production. So drinking green tea daily or taking EGCG in supplement form can have a potent effect on immune health. I found that all of these nutrients and foods, especially when they're combined, can have a big impact on post-viral recovery. Make sure to check out the links in the description for more information on how to put this into practice in your own life. I've also included links to three supplements from Adapt Naturals, my supplement line, that could be really helpful in this situation. The first is BioVail Multi. It's a multivitamin, multimineral, and phytonutrient blend that's loaded with immune and energy boosting nutrients like vitamins A, C, D, K2, and E, minerals like zinc and magnesium, and phytonutrients like EGCG, muscadine grape extract, and bioflavonoids. The second is BioVail Myco. It's a full spectrum blend of eight mushroom extracts that support optimal immune and cellular energy production, including reishi, lion's mane, turkey tail, and chaga. The third is BioVail Organ. It's a blend of five freeze-dried organs, liver, heart, kidney, pancreas, and spleen, sourced from 100% grass-fed, grass-finished, free-range New Zealand cattle. This is a convenient way to get the nutrient density benefits of organ meats if you don't care to eat them. You can learn more about these products at adaptnaturals.com, and I'll also put a link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the subscribe button in the lower right and tap the notification bell so you'll be updated when I release new content. Thanks for watching everybody and see you next time.